Okay, hello and welcome to my channel. Looks like I'm live. I have the Derwent Light Fast pencils. Um, I'm going to try to bring up any chat that will come up on my iPad so that when comments start to come in, uh, come in I can see them. So let me come set in. that up. Uh, Turn my volume down and make it so I can see the screen. I think I will increase the font size so that I can see anything that's said. Okay, all right. So I think I'm good. Um, in this live stream, I'm going to, wait a minute, my camera's acting a little hinky. Let's See if we, okay, it seems like it's okay. In this live stream, I want to swatch the 100 set of Derwent Light Fast Pencils. I, hi, Yoreli, how are you? Welcome to my channel. I know that I've been doing mostly uh, diamond painting content and even book reviews and so forth, but I wanted to swatch these Derwent Light Fast colored pencils um, to tell you a bit about them. They come in a tin of 72, and let's see, I'm not in live. Let me go to live chat. They come in a tin of 72, and right after Derwent, well, I guess while they were producing this set, they were also testing an additional 28 colors. So what I decided to do was to wait well, first thing I did is I went to Pinterest and found a Derwent Light Fast 100 color chart because this is my swatch book. Every pencil set and marker set that I have swatched so far is in this binder. So I got this chart and since it had 100, I decided to wait for these to come in and they came in yesterday. Okay, that's excellent, Ureli. What are you diamond painting? Hey, Samantha, how you doing? I'm taking a break from our diamond painting to do this live stream. I wanted to um, I wanted to swatch these Derwent Life Fast pencils. I'm sorry, my uh, weather came up on my laptop. So what I was saying is that the, uh, the company. Derwent came out with the 72 set of light fast pencils. Now I have Derwent Color Soft and Derwent Ink Tents. I did have other Derwent products like Pro Colors and there was another one, but I didn't like those. So I sent those back. But when these came out, I waited, I got them. And then I found out that there were 28 additional colors. So I have found this chart on, um, hi Roxanne, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. Um, I found this chart. I googled it. I believe it may have been on Pinterest and I thought let's go ahead and swatch these pencils. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to set this up on my desk. So let's figure this out. Um, before I set up my desk to swatch these, let's look at what comes in the tin. It comes with this booklet that discusses what the light fast pencils are and why they're called light fast. Now, some of the premier pencil sets are light fast on a level, I believe, one to three. And that's some of the pencils in some of the sets. In this set, all of their pencils are light fast tested to various degrees. And that's why it says 100% light fast oil based colored pencils. Now, I haven't looked at this because I've been waiting for those additional colors to come, but this booklet gives you hints, hints and tip, tips, excuse me, hints and tips about the pencils. I noticed that the rating for this is one to five, not one to three. I usually see, hi, Nana, welcome to my channel. Hi, Robert, welcome. Hi, Kay, welcome to you as well. So this light fast rating goes up to five. And I notice it says pass, pass, fail, fail, fail. I honestly don't know what that means. So here is um, a chart that contains all of the 100 pencils that they have. Or probably this just may just have the 72. I'm not sure. But their colors and where they stand in the, yes, it has all 100 if you can see that. It has 
tells you what pencils are in which sets and what light fast rating they have. And so that's what this booklet is. I will put this in my um, pencil case when I am done with it. So to turn these pencils the right side up, there should be two tins of 36 or two trays of 36. This one that's on top and this one here. Now I'm going to uh, move a couple of things to give myself more room to the right. I have two other sets of pencils on my desk that I want to swatch. So they were in the way. So we move those out the way. Move the swatch book for a minute so I can get back in frame. So there we go, two trays of 36. And then as I mentioned, the additional 28 colors. Now, what I hope to do in this stream, if it's not too time consuming, is to go through the colors and to swatch them. And for those of you who are diamond painters and don't color, I can show you an example of swatch pages. So what you do is you have a list of pencils, whatever they are, and I have them labeled with tabs, and you color in that next to the color that it is so that you know what the colors look like when you're about to color. Now, I have about, I don't know, 30, 30, 30, between 35 and 40 sets of pencils and countless sets of markers and so forth and so on, but that's what I am going to do in this stream. So let's get started. I, I did not sort anything out, so I'm not familiar with the layout, but I'm just going to work with the color names. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to try to get my swatch book in frame. So I'm just trying to give myself a little bit more room than I have. I have something else I want to show you if you hear this plastic bag. Move the instructions over, move this over, these right here. I'm just laying everything out, folks, and trying to get this in screenshot. The only thing I don't like about working on my desk compared to when I diamond paint on my channel is my light is behind me, so it reflects a shadow when my hand goes across, but I, I can't do anything about that. So I'm going to turn the pencils sideways so that I can hopefully um, read the numbers enough to sort them out, to swatch them. And, that, and it definitely works because the first color here is champagne, if you can see that. And so because I do color and have been coloring for a long time, a lot of the colors will be easy to spot and it shouldn't take too long. So what we usually do, there's two ways to do this. Some people go light to dark across that line, but I just put in a, a straight color. I don't increase it. So all, hi, Danielle. Thank you for coming. Welcome to my channel. So basically that's all this live stream is. It's to swatch these pencils so I know what colors they are when I decide to color. So while I do that, I bought this pencil case and I showed this on a, uh, a haul video, uh, a, yeah, a haul video. And what I plan on doing is uh, putting two sets of pencils in this case. Um, is this the case? No, is this the case? Of nope, this case is for something else. Let me get the case I bought for these. I just had to think about that for a second. Like I said, I have more than one set to swatch, so therefore I grabbed the wrong case. This is the case that I plan on using. Um, 17 colors. Okay, Robert, that's great. Thank you, Kay. That case is for the 180 set of Sioux color pencils. This is the case that I bought for these. It, they, it just was in the wrong place. So as I swatch the colors, I will be placing them in the order of the swatch sheet in this case, and I will keep the color name on top. That's how every single pencil set I have is ordered. 
in rainbow order, numerically according to whatever swatch sheet I use. Now, just to give you a little information, if I cannot locate a swatch sheet online, let me bring it down. If I cannot locate a swatch sheet online, I create my own on my spreadsheet, on a spreadsheet. So let me find one that I made myself just to show you what I do. Okay, like I made this one here. Wait a minute, let's get that wire out of the way. So this is one that I created a spreadsheet for on my computer. So I will create my own swatch sheets if I cannot find one online. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly. So let's make sure the camera's straight because I hit it with the book when I was opening the page. Okay, so the next color is banana. And like I said, I'm going to be able to, to ascertain a lot of these colors simply by, by the name and by the tip on here. Sometimes I'm going to have to look hard, but in some cases I'm going to be able to guess. So over on the right, which you cannot see because the camera angle is only so wide, I'm sticking them in the case. So here, the next one is sun yellow. So I don't know why and how, but I picked up sun yellow, even though I didn't look at this. So that's the next one. Can you all see this? See, I turned my paper the way my hand is, but I see I'm going to have to try to keep it straight. Um, can everybody see the swatch sheet good enough? And while I do this, why doesn't everybody tell me how they're doing and what they're working on today? For example, I know Samantha. Okay, excellent, Kay. I know Samantha is working on an Alice in Wonderland picture that we found on um, excellent Ureli. Thank you. Thank you, Robert, uh, that we found together and we're doing it together. Robert's working on a colorful tiger. Robert, I have one diamond painting that's a tiger i think it's from dreamer designs it's called sumatran tiger it's not a colorful tiger but it's my only tiger painting okay so the next one is mustard and so far four for four in order of what's in the tin so my job is being made quite easy okay so the next one is yellow which is not in the tin so this yellow came from so oh, let's get this wire out the way. You don't need to have that wire. Give me a second to uh, make it. Okay. So this yellow came from the extra 28. So I will be looking at both places to make the transition between the 72 set and the 28 set. Go smooth. And then the pencils are going to go into the case in, in this order mixing in the 72 set in the 28 set. Okay, the next one is gold and I see amber gold. So let's see if we can find gold. Okay, yep, so this gold is one of the newer colors and for the heck of it, let's see what the light fast rating is for this. It should be on here, but it's not. Okay, in some of my pencil sets, they're like this, you'll have the name of the, comp the company, the name of the pencil, and the color. But in my other pencil sets, when you roll it over, it has the star for the light fast reading. Derwent did not put these, put that on these pencils. Other pencil sets I have, like some of my, like my polychromos, for example, will have the, the light fast reading. So I was just curious about that. Now, my husband is just getting in from the store, so if he comes in, just bear with me if he needs to ask me anything. So Golden Sun is next. Sorry, I keep turning the paper a little to the right the way that I'm used to holding it. Okay, he didn't come in the room, but my cat Toby, and hopefully he won't jump on the desk because there's no room for him. Amber Gold is next. Pretty colors, and I need to tell you right now, this is cardstock. It's... 90 pound weight and this colors very nicely on the paper uh the star on the pencil like on other pencil sets k would be this in this brochure it tells us that there that uh these pencils have 
five light start light fast ratings from one to five light fast rating basically means that uh, over the course of time the pencils will not fade and some are better than the others i i wish i knew offhand for sure what pencils have that star rating because i would go grab one but i would probably say my holbein's would have it um my polychromos would have it so if on the other sets, it would have one star, two star, three star, and so forth. So when, with this booklet here, like if we open a page, it tells us what that light fast rating is in this column. And so that's what the star means, Kay. I kind of wish, not that it matters to me as a colorist. You're very welcome, Kay. Not that it really matters to me because I'm not an artist. I'm just a colorist. An artist is some buddy that's going to want their work to last for years, whether it's hanging in a home, in a museum or whatever. Our colorists, we generally keep our, um, at least I do, I'm looking for apricot. Uh, we colorists, uh, this is apricot. Oh, here we go, guys. The light fast rating is not on the flip side. It's next to the name. Whoops, let me get in frame. Light fast rating two for this one. Let's wait till it gets clearer. Can you see that too, guys? So I'm glad that Derwent included the light fast rating. Like I said, not for somebody like me who's simply a colorist, but if I were an artist and my work needed to last for years or decades, that light fast rating would matter. Somebody that would um, really help you is um, Harry, um, the pen pencil guy. Um, I can't let me think of Harry's channel name. He understands it and explains it much better because he's a professional reviewer with regard, like I'm a professional book reviewer. I am a professional reviewer, but for books. Somebody like Harry is a professional reviewer for coloring supplies and things of that nature. So Harry is the paper pencil guy. I can't think of his uh, channel name. He explains the light fast rating better. But not only does Harry test in color, but he also draws. So somebody like Harry is going to want to know, waiting for that to come in clear. It's not coming in clear. Okay, I can't get th this one to come in clear, but this is dark orange and they do have life ass rating too. So I'm kind of kind of cool, happy about that. Only for the sake of the professionalism of the, you know, of the professional nature of the pencil. N not for the purpose of a coloring book page that is most likely to stay in the coloring book. This is this was flame, by the way. And the next one is Derwent Red. Okay, so Derwent is the company name, and they named this one Derwent Red. Now this has a light fast rating of one. I won't bother to read the light fast ratings, but I just, am, and I am very pleased that they did a thorough job at creating these pencils. Scarlet is next, and I don't see it, so therefore it's got to be in this other kit, other set. Let me find it. That's magenta. Okay, here we go. I don't mind disseminating information, but if I don't know, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know the difference between one and five. Obviously, there are different levels. But somebody like Harry, oh, the art gear guide. Harry, the art gear guide. The art gear guide, G U I. He is somebody who knows this stuff inside out. I think the reason I couldn't think of his name is because he used to write for the color pencil magazine that's why i was calling him the color pencil guy but it's the archaeo guy so that's strawberry and then we have cherry red and if i end up off screen like i think i just did just let me know and i will uh make the adjustment oh they're wonderful okay um last night ariana and demetrius came over and i hadn't seen them in three weeks. I do video chat with them every single day, but as far as seeing them, um, you know, guys, 
I, I'm not doing well. So when I'm not doing well emotionally, I don't go out of my house, not even to see my kids. Even with COVID, I used to go to Ari's house, but I haven't been there in a few weeks because my mood's been totally screwed up. So her and Demetrius came by last night and he came running in my room and gave me a hug and a kiss. Demetrius is 20 months old. And um, the funny thing is, is he's just learning to talk. So he doesn't quite naturally have a full vocabulary. But he all has been saying Nana for months, but he's we've never heard him say Grandpa for my husband. So he comes in my room. I was just laying down. Ari has a key to my house. So I heard my door being opened. I'm looking for Raisin, guys. I heard my door being opened, and I was a little nervous for a second there because I knew my husband wasn't nowhere in town because he works quite a distance away. And then it dawned on me, it had to be Ari. So it was Ari and Demetrius. So he runs out. I'm looking for Raisin. Where's Raisin? He runs out of my room and he says, Grandpa, like that. And Ari and I looked at each other. We're like, did he just say Grandpa? He was looking for his grandfather, but my husband was at work. So I was really, really happy because he's never called my husband Grandpa before. So that was... Okay, I found Raisin. That was that was just so heartwarming. So he's he's doing good. Yes, Kay, he's oh he's he's wonderful. She didn't bring Olivia because Olivia had just fallen asleep. Olivia is almost four months old, so Olivia stayed home with her daddy. But I got to spend a few hours with them. As a matter of fact, I was going to swatch these pencils last night. Um, I was going to lay down for 30 minutes. I usually like when I'm tired, like even like today when I knew I wanted to stream, I always lay down for like 30 minutes before I stream, before I diamond paint, looking for magenta. And so I was going to lay down for 30 minutes and then I was going to come and do this. And then they came. So we spent some time together and it was wonderful. He had on the cutest pair of gloves. I didn't know they made gloves that fit a little hand like that so perfectly. Oh. He's so proud of his gloves. He looks so cute with his winter coat and his gloves. I just, oh, it was so heartwarming. And the thing is, you know, I was kind of depressed yesterday, but you cannot be depressed when a child throws their arms around your neck. It just it doesn't syncopate you know you your mood is instantly uplifted at least mine was okay looking for taupe why is taupe with the reds i'm not sure let's see where taupe is okay so as i'm looking at this and i think i was off screen we have some reds and now we're mixing we mix in some browns back to reds in this now if i had created this chart i would have reordered my pencils to true rainbow order but I'm going to go ahead and stay with what I found online. So that's why we're bringing taupe in after a couple of breads. So let me tell you what I did today. Today was a good day. Um, actually, I'll tell you what I did yesterday. Uh, my mood changes, you know, I, I have a mood disorder, but my day started off good because I wrote a book review yesterday. And then I made some video reviews, one that I posted, that was Flesh Pink, and one that I scheduled for February 1st, because the book is not out yet. Uh, a lot of the books I read are not out yet, so I will be making video reviews as I finish those books, but I won't schedule those reviews into a release date. And then I made a bunch of post-review videos, I made three. And then I read a book. I always at least read one book a day. So I read a book. And then I'm um, looking for cinnamon. I read a book. And then um, I laid down for a couple hours. And that's when my daughter, and, and that's when I was going to lay down. And then I was going to uh, make, make a, a live stream video. But like that didn't work out. So yesterday, despite some ups and downs, was a really, really good day. The Secret Book Dare to Dream. No, I haven't heard of it. Um, okay, do you know who the author is? I, I, I have, I'll have to jot that down. 
Oh, I got a good recommendation from my friend Fashawn. Now, Fashawn and I review for uh, several of the same companies. One of them is called NetGalley. Another is called Edelweiss. We also review for Forever and for Grand Central Publishing. And I and and then we review for a bunch of individual publishers within NetGalley and Edelweiss. So uh, that was Dusky Pink. So a lot of times, Fashan and I will, will get the same books because they interest us, or one of us will talk about a book and the other one goes and gets it. So Fashan reads is reading this book, I think today is Saturday, so maybe Tuesday and Wednesday. Hi, Loves to Diamond, Loves to Color and Paint. Oh, I know your name, but I can't remember. I think it's, is it Gina? I'm not sure. Um, so Fashan starts talking to me about a book. Now, with Fashan and I, I have to stop her sometimes because she'll start talking about a book that I want to read. And if I want to read the book, I don't want her to tell me about it because she'll spoil it. So when she starts telling me about this book, I really didn't think I wanted to read it. And that was the first day she started it. And um, I'm going to have to look the book up. And then the second day she was reading it, she couldn't stop talking about it. So I went ahead and requested it. And at this uh, uh, website called NetGalley, uh, you get books in two ways. The first way is your um, you request a book and the publisher decides if they want to let you read it and review it. And the second way is publishers will have a lot of respect for you and do what they call um, auto approve you where you can just go get whatever you want to read. I'm looking for the book. I don't see it. I know that they, oh, here it is. So the, this book is called In the Garden of Spite. And it's a novel of the Black Widow of Laporte. It doesn't come out, I think, until April. Oh, no, no, this is already out. This comes out. This is out. So I guess I'll be reading it this weekend. Anyway, this is about the first woman serial killer. And I didn't want to read it on Tuesday when she was talking about it. And then Wednesday, she couldn't stop talking about it. So I don't read a lot of nonfiction, but this is a fictionalized account of the first woman serial killer. So that looks very interesting. I'm glad I looked at it because I didn't realize it was coming out now. Actually, I read more than a book a day. I read two to two and a half books a day every day. I just try to read at least one book a day at the minimum. Um, it's chaos over here. Okay, no worries, Danielle. Thank you for letting me know. Um, it's really easy to read more than a couple of books a day if, okay, put it like this. When I get up in the morning, I read a book, cover to cover, like I did this morning. I read, um, what did I read? I read um, Blink of an Eye by Iris Johansson and her son, Roy Johansson. And it's like a 300, 350 page book, but I read it this morning and I always do that be pretty much before I do anything else. And then, so this is the book that I read. It's the eighth book in um, a series by Iris Johansson. She's been writing for decades. Roy Johansson is her son and he's also a writer. And in this series, the Kendra Michael series, they co-author together. So, um, I read, I, I'll read a book in the morning. Like I said, I read this this morning. And then I go and I get a second book. And I read that book throughout the course of the day. And usually I will finish it. And if I don't, I finish it the next morning. So like I'll show you right now. I'm reading this book, um, Song for a Cowboy. And I started this a couple of hours ago, and I only have about 30 minutes left of it. So most likely today I'll get three books read today. So it just depends on my mood. That is what determines if I can read more than a book a day. Yes, The Gardener of Spite looks very interesting. So now that I realize it's coming out, I probably will read that after this uh, this romance that I'm reading. Um uh, and I will be making a review of that. I, I'm going to try to review as many books as I can on this channel. The 13 Minute Murder. Oh, I love James Patterson. You know, I subscribe to his book shots 
Danielle, but I've never read any of them. I know I would love him because believe it or not, I read about 70 of his books. So he's definitely one of my favorite authors. Oh, speaking of favorite authors, I had something exciting. This is purple. I had something very, very, very exciting to me. Another author that I've read at least 70 of their books, her name is Lori Foster. She writes romance and she mostly writes series. Either they're either trilogies, which is three books, usually with like siblings or something of that nature. Chestnut is next. Um, and I'm on her street team, and which means that I get her books early and I get to read them and promote them and write reviews for them and so forth. Well, I was doing a whip and chat on my channel, Mars Violet is next. And um, I talked about her book and a day or so later, I get this notification that my favorite author commented here on this channel. So let's see. Yes, yes. Um, I am 10 books behind you on the M Women's Murder Club Club series. I am two books behind you on the Alex, uh, the Michael Bennett series and one book behind you on the Alex Cross series, Danielle. Those are all lined up for me to read um, this year to catch up on. So yes, yeah, so Lori Foster messaged me on, on here on my channel. And so I hurried up and I video chatted Ariana, who's my middle daughter. She's 27. I said, Ari, who was my favorite author when you were growing up? Now, we're talking about when Ariana was a teenager, and Ariana is not a reader. And she said, Lori Foster, Ma, why are you video chatting me? We had just talked 15 minutes before that for two hours. So I, she's like, why are you calling me right back? It's Lori Foster. Why are you asking me? I said, because, she, and I told her what happened. So I went back to my channel, and I thanked Lori, and I said, guess what, Lori? I told my daughter, I asked my daughter if she knew who my favorite author was when she was a teenager, and she said your name immediately. So Lori wrote back again, and she said the kindest things, and at the end of the day, she said something like, tell your daughter that your mom is the best or something. So it made my day. I'm looking for Violet, guys. Violet. It made my day. So I love to read. Yes, it is, Danielle. That, you know, I'm going to tell you something. That day was a rough day emotionally. And to have my favorite author comment to me on my channel was beyond belief. I mean, I have a strong relationship, Blue Violet is next, with authors on Twitter because I have about 2,000 followers and most of them are Twitter, I mean, are authors. So we, we, I, have a very, very active uh, engagement with my authors on um, Twitter, but to have an author follow my channel and comment on a review, that was, there's no words for that. A good book to check out. What would I recommend? Yes, you know what? Loves the color. Is your name Gina? Because if not, correct me. All right, Kate, thank you so much. Enjoy making dinner. Yes, you're right, uh, Danielle. 2020, 2020 was bad. 2021 has only been going on for 23 days, and it's been horrid. Can I just say that word again? Horrid, okay? I'll say it a third time. 2021 has been horrid, okay? Enough about that. So anyway, um, a good book to uh, that I thank you so much. Um, a good book that I would recommend would be anything that written, I'm looking for Arctic, anything writ written by Kristen Hanna, and that's um, H-A-N-N-A-H. Hugs back to UK. Thank you so much for coming, and thanks for leaving the stream on for the watch hours. Um, anything that Kristen Hanna writes, I would highly recommend to someone that's looking for a good book with a good story. She has a book that's coming out, I think, on the 26th or the first week of February called The Four Winds. I read it like six months ago because I get all my books very, very early. But let me find out when The Four Winds is coming up because I would recommend The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. 
And I'll tell you right now when it's coming out. Okay, this is going to be released on February 2nd. Like I said, I read it about six months ago. It's called The Four Winds. I already wrote the review. The review is on Goodreads, and it's pre-scheduled to go live on my blog on February 2nd. Um, this book I would recommend, and anything that this author writes is gold. She touches it with a pen, and it's gold. So that's who I would recommend. Okay, so now I'm looking. I did Arctic, so I'm looking for deep blue. So I see mid blue. Okay, here's deep blue. You're very welcome. No one could be disappointed if you read Kristen Hanna. Most of her books are standalones. She did do Fly Away and um, Fly Away and Firefly as a, a two book series, a duology. But other than those two books, all of her books are standalones. So you can't go wrong. And most of her stuff you can get at your online library if uh, you know budget is a problem. <laughs> Danielle, everybody says that. Everybody says that. You know, and a lot of authors write based on their experiences and then they fictionalize them. My drama started from toddlerhood on. So yeah, I, I have a lot that I would write and, and that would be fiction. But my family wants me to write like memoirs for my family, but I, I don't want to do that. That's too much responsibility. But the girls, and I say the girls, five sisters, they want me to do that. So that was mid blue seventy percent. Oh, good, I put it in the right one because there's another mid blue, and I'm fortunately I didn't make a mistake. Um, regular mid blue, so that's a new one. Okay, so this is mid blue. Yep. So the one I just did was mid blue seventy percent, and this is standard mid blue. So let's look at the differences. So this is mid blue and then the one i just did was mid blue 70 percent awesome you rally yes you commented on one of my videos i don't think i had a chance to respond that um the mystery thriller i told you about the other day was not your speed but you do read chris and hannah that's exciting midnight blue 70 percent where are you that's not it okay i just found it I've read a lot of books this month. I'm reading book number 30. I'm not doing book reviews for everything I read this month. I'm kind of picking up from where I am now, including what I read this week. So I, I've already made a couple and I will make some more videos tomorrow before my Kingdom Hall meeting. And um, I hope to bring more of that content to this channel. So Dark Indigo is right here. Um, Ureli, do you have a favorite Kristen Hanna book? Like The Nightingale, for example. Have you read The Nightingale? And if you did, did you cry the whole way through? Because if you did, you're going to cry the whole way through The Four Winds. That's in my opinion. So looking for uh, Dark Cyan. Dark Cyan, what are you? Perfect. Sorry, guys, I'm looking for a color. Now, all this time, I've been able to find all the colors in the first row. So we'll have to go to the next row to see if we can find Dark Cyan. So since I don't see, see Dark Cyan, I'm going to see if I see the next one, which is Ocean Blue. And when we happen upon, okay, yeah. When we happen upon Dark Cyan, I'll pick it up. But for now, we'll skip over to Ocean Blue Dark. I almost put this under Ocean Blue. And then I just noticed that there's two Ocean Blues. So that's Ocean Blue and Ocean Blue Dark. Yes. It's a sad book, but it's an excellent, excellent, 
excellent story. If you like good writing with solid stories and solid characters and a solid plot, the sadness should not deter you from reading a book. That's my opinion. The Nightingale was your first, Kristen Hanna. Yes, you cried. It was a good book. And it's your favorite. Yes, yeah, your favorite. Yeah, the storyline is your favorite, John. Mine too. Mine too. So Ocean Blue and Ocean Blue Dark. I'm skipping a space in my um, case for that color that I missed, that dark cyan. Still haven't seen it. I'm looking one more time. Okay, so Dark Turquoise. Yes. I keep saying that I'm going to reread The Nightingale, um, Ureli, so since, but I just haven't had time yet, but since you like Kristen Hanna, please put the full wins on your TBR. Like I said, I've read it months and months ago, but I haven't been able to talk about it because it wasn't released. As a matter of fact, I might just make a video review of it since it's going to be released on February 2nd. So maybe I'll do that after I, I'm done here. Light Aqua was there and then Turquoise Green. Okay. Whenever I get pencil sets that... Um, end up having additional colors, I always put them together in cases like that. All right, so I don't say turquoise green. So to save time, I will skip the line until we happen upon it. And that way I won't keep you guys, you know, for too, too long because I already kept you for 41 minutes. So that's mallet green. Oh, you really, if you ever decide to revisit the Nightingale, let me know and we can reread it together. Because I co-read with people all the time. It's one part of my hobby. All right. So I, this is peridot yellow. Oh, I thought it was peridot blue. Okay. So I have to skip another line. Peridot yellow. So I'm skipping a line in my case when I mess up. So that way everything fits in. Yeah. When you're ready to reread it, I will definitely reread it with you. I'm all about sharing my love of hobbies with people that have similar tastes. I'm looking for peridot blue, guys. There we go. You just placed the four wins on hold. Excellent. Oh, number 96 on one copy. I'm sorry. See, I'm a professional book reviewer. I have books that won't be out until 2022. So I get my books very, very early. However... Because of my depression, I fell really far behind on my reading, so I'm catching up on my January slash February books. But once I catch up, I'll be reading books that won't be out for months and months. But it'll take me some time to get back to where I used to be. I'm looking for Vivid Green. Okay, back to my case. Now I'm in the second row of the case, so I'm more than halfway through, guys. And if you guys have Audible or Scribd, you can probably get the Nightingale that way. Um, I happen to have an account um, with both of them because of the volume of books that I read. I have I use Scribd and Audible in addition to the review books. And the reason that I use Scribd and Audible, Hoopla and Overdrive, all four of those audio sources is because Mountain Green is because I... Um, I read series. I read lots and lots of series. As a matter of fact, I made a video about the series I'll be reading in 2021. You self-published? Yay, you really. 30 oh, I'm sorry. Don't give up, honey. Danielle, don't give up. Do it again. Do it again. Don't give up because of something that didn't go well. I understand you pulling it because I'm very sensitive. Okay, I understand that. But, but if that's a gift... Exercise that gift, girl. That was Basil looking for spruce green, which is right in front of me. So, so far, according to this, I'm missing three colors. And I just think it's better to leave the space in the case until I happen upon those colors. Um, I just want to see something. 
after dark turquoise. Oh, I have dark turquoise. I just didn't put them in. There we go. There we go. Pacific blue is the one that I missed. So we need a pencil shop now. I made a mistake, guys. I'm just going to get my pencil shop uh, eraser. Whoa. I'm just going to erase this. It's not going to erase all the way, but it'll erase enough that I'll be able to uh, put that color in. Okay, here it is. Pacific blue is the one that I messed up. I just looked down at my case and realized that there was a mistake. So I've got to move everything over one. Just take a second. Everything over one and make room for Pacific blue. So Pacific blue comes after... There we go. Okay. Everything's back to normal again. Yes, yeah, send it to me. Um, the only thing I will say is it's hard to review for friends. Like I, I belong to a small group of people and of readers, and we we sprint together, which means like we sprint from uh we do one hour sprints, like we just read for an hour. And I spent with them two or three times a day. It helps me to stay focused on reading. Well, one of the ladies is a writer and she wants me to review her work. And it's get, it's going to be hard because we're friends, you know. And I'm like, how am I going to do that? But I'll do my best, Danielle. Okay, that was Racing Green. And now I'm looking for Grass Green 70%. I see grass, regular Grass Green. Okay, so I've got the next one. Now, if I decide to do more swatching on this channel, regular grass green, I would not create my spreadsheet for uh, for um, a pencil chart that's not available online. Like, let's say for that 180 set of soul colors, I would create the spreadsheet first and then swatch. So I just wanted you to know that real quick. Looking for foliage, the next color. I love these pencils. No, 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 don't be sorry. I'd love to read it. I just want you to know that I have to be honest, sweetheart. But no, no, I'm not. And even honest, let me tell you something about me as a book reviewer. I'm as honest as the day is long, but I am not harsh. You know, I'm not harsh. Okay. I would be honest, but I would be genuine. I'm not, I would never attack someone's hard work. Never. I've never done it. And I have written about 2,000 book reviews since 2018, and I've never attacked anyone's work. So don't feel bad. I would love to do it. I'm just saying that this other friend, Mandy, her name is, she doesn't, um, well, Samantha's here. Samantha knows Mandy. Um, I love Mandy, but we're, we're getting to be really good friends, and um, her book's not yet published, so, you know, we have to be very honest with her when she presents it to us. I'm looking for light bronze because, you know, if we're not honest, then it, it could be hurtful to their success, you know. So please send it on, honey. And if you want another fun fact, my daughter Adriana used to write poetry, but she stopped. And I keep telling her she needs to get back to it because she used to be so gifted. Seaweed. Ah, uh, thank you, Danielle. Thank you. I love you too, hon. Okay, so the next one is green earth. That's all of earth. I'm surprised at how easy most of these colors are to find. Yes, there's two colors I haven't yet located, but all of Earth, most of them are popping right in front of me. And no, I'm not staying all the way in the line. And then we have Lishan Green. I don't know if you guys saw the video I made last night of my Happy Mail, but I got the best Happy Mail I have gotten in a long time is there are two books that I have had 
in mind to get. And I just could not justify the cost because the seller on Etsy was charging shipping, the same shipping price per book. So I would have been paying, it, it just wasn't, didn't seem fair. Well, I didn't know that my friend knew somebody in France where the books were produced and I got them as happy mail yesterday. So that was exciting. Doc Honey is next. All right, where's Doc Honey at? Don't see Doc Honey, so I'm going to skip that. Okay, so Doc Cyan that I was missing before, I'm going to stick it back in here. And I made a space for it, and it goes after Doc Indigo, so I don't have to move anything. I left the space for it. So Doc Honey, Yellow Ochre, I think my husband bought pizza. That's what I smell, but he knows I can't eat, so I will be having soup. Yellow Ochre. I can't eat because my esophagus is closed. I have to have surgery a couple times a year, but with COVID, I refuse to go have the surgery this year, so... Instead of it closing a little and then opening it through surgery, I let it get completely closed, so I'm down to a liquid diet. So now I have to smell pizza. But I have talked to my surgeon, and I am having surgery again soon. And he told me that this operating room is cleaner than a supermarket. He said, if people can go to the supermarket, you can come and have surgery, Robin. He called me on Tuesday. So... He's like, don't be afraid. He said, you should never let your esophagus completely close because it's going to be a point when you won't even be able to drink water. So anyway, so I smell pizza. Oh, you have? Yeah. No. Okay, Danielle. Yeah, I hate pizza. <laughs> yeah, I've had seven surgeries already on my esophagus and it's going to happen every six months, he said. I just um, didn't get it done in 2020 because of COVID. I was just afraid to deal with going under, you know, because you have to be completely, it's, you know, it completely knocked me out. Burnt Sienna. Yeah, that's just on my esophagus, Robert. I've had over 50 surgeries all over. Um, Mars Orange is next. Oh, you had strep on top of a closed esophagus? Oh, my word. By the way, the medical term is called an esophageal, wait, an esophageal stricture. I, I had issue and it, it just closes in every, you know, every six months ago or so I was having, you know, those surgical procedures and then I can eat for a bit. But the good thing about it, a year is I lost 130 pounds. So, you know, there, there's the bonus right there, is I would have never been able to lose weight on my own because I, I haven't been able to lose weight on my own. Phoenician Red is next. And, guys, I'm in my last row. We're almost done. Yeah, same here. Um, I'm barely eating. You know, um, Tony's making me smoothies. I have yogurt. I have um, soups, and I drink a lot of milk. Ruby Earth, what? Yep. And then, so what happens is, even though this procedure will reopen the esophagus, is by the time my procedure is done, my stomach has shrunk from the months where my esophagus was shrinking that even though I'll be able to eat like normal, my stomach capacity, I'm looking for a warm earth, is so, um, you know, my stomach has shrunk. So even though I'll be able to eat, I won't, I won't, I'll never eat at um, the way that I used to eat in my life. That'll never happen again. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Robert. Have you had to have a number of procedures to have it reopened on a regular basis? And if not, how do you manage it? What kind of diet do you have? Yeah, my husband um, was shocked. I mean, he doesn't, like, we don't generally eat together. I don't know if that's a terrible thing to admit. But I said, um, 
he he was gonna make he has chicken thawing out and I'm like you know you're thawing out too much chicken I said I can't eat more than half the chicken wing anymore he goes half the chicken wing I'm like yeah half a chicken wing and it takes a half an hour to get that down so I told him he's thawing out too much chicken in one you know in one one stretch yes I feel hungry and I have terrible 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 stomach pain which is from stomach um, hunger pains. I have hunger pains that create stomach pain, but it doesn't matter how hungry I am and how badly my stomach hurts. And, and Danielle, this is all the time. This is going like on my third year of this problem is I could be starving, like starving. Smell that pizza right now, starving. And two or three bites later and nothing is getting down. Nothing will go down. It's, it stops. It stops right at the end of my throat, right where the esophagus begins. It doesn't get past it. That, like, if you put your hand like where your collarbone meets, that's as far as my food goes. Oh, you go every five years, and they put you to sleep, and then you can eat. Okay, Robert, this is the longest I've gone is a year, and it's only because of COVID. But it, but I usually go every five to six months for the last couple of years. Um, and my surgeon was not happy with me because instead of him, his secretary calling me, he called me back the other day. <laughs> and you'll be putting that pizza in a blender. Um, yeah, he's not happy with me for uh, shrugging off my appointments. And I told him, I said, listen, I have pre existing conditions and, you know, I can't get COVID. And so I just been on a liquid diet watching that weight just fall off. I'm losing about five pounds a week now. Every eight weeks, Nana? Oh, my word. Every eight weeks. I don't know how you do it. Are you able to maintain a normal diet, Nana, when you get it done every eight weeks? Because I was never able... I'm looking for a warm gray. I was never able to um, resume normal eating habits once this started. Like even after my procedure, my stomach is so small that I, I've just never been able to um, eat, eat like a normal person anymore, even after the procedure. And after the procedure, you know, they bring you all this food while you're waking up from the anesthesia and they're looking at me like eat. And I'm like, no, I can't. There's no room in my stomach. Oh, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, I wouldn't wish it on anyone either. I wouldn't. But Nana, you have my condolences to have and have it stretched every every eight weeks. One thing that I, I am going to take advantage of, I'm looking for granite. Granite is um I have a new surgeon because last year it got so bad where I couldn't swallow water. So I was rushed to the ER and had surgery like six hours later. I mean, I let it get really bad last time. And um, so I was in the hospital for a couple of days. Um, and then I really liked the surgeon at, at the hospital I, I was in. And um, so I did switch to him and I had the upper GI in February of 2020 and I was supposed to have surgery on March 1st. And guess what? I didn't do it. So I had the procedure done in November when I was in the e after I went to the ER. And then I had the upper GI in February. And I was scheduled on the 1st or the 2nd. And then I got pneumonia. And then COVID was, you know, made known. And I never went back. So he gave me a proper talking, a proper talking to when he called me last week. Okay, I see turquoise green, which I missed earlier. I don't know why I didn't see it earlier, so I just got to go back a page. I got a spot for it. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, well, he is a gastroenterologist, Nana, but he's also my surgeon. He's a new guy. Hi, Katrina. Welcome to my channel. Um... I had a surgeon, her name was Dr. Rahamed, and she was my surgeon, I say three years, she was more my, 
Well, she's been my gastroenterologist for like 20 years, but the problem started like three or four years, two, two to three years ago. No, if I haven't had the procedure in a year, we'll say it started three to four years ago. And so I love Dr. Muhammad, but um, when I went to the ER and I didn't have a choice of a surgeon, it was this new doctor and I really, really like him. So um, he's going to be my surgeon from now on. So I, I know he's a gastroenterologist because I couldn't find his number and I looked up um, gastroenterology for the town that he's in and his name came up. Oh, he's not angry. He's just concerned, Robert, because he rem he says he remembers my case when I had to go into the ER. He remembers that he said he when he called me on Tuesday, he said he remembered them calling me saying that they had a patient that they didn't know if they should admit because my doctor was in another town. We recently had moved to the town I'm in now. So I went to a hospital that's closer to where I am. And, and, and so the, he said he told the ER staff yes to admit me and yes, he would do surgery. So I think because my situation with him was different because I came to him as an ER patient, somehow he remembered my case. And that's why he was concerned that I couldn't swallow. Oh, Nana. Oh my, God. no, I, I'm not, no. My worst gets when I can't drink water, but I've never had trouble swallowing my own spit. So I guess I better get myself, oh, well, his, he said his secretary would be calling me in a week or so. So I guess I better not let myself get that bad. Oh my gosh. So um, Nana, do you have upper GIs or you just go in on a scheduled uh, basis? I've got one more color, which is white guys. I'm done. All 100 colors of the Derwent Light Fast. And that took exactly an hour. I just did 100 colors in one hour. Oh, I did Arctic, but it's so light for a second. I thought I missed one. And here they are, all done. Sorry. Here they done. Here they are. They're all done. Well, I will say that I've never had a point where I can't actually swallow. But last November, when I couldn't drink water, I I was I. It was a bad situation, and um. The only good that came out of it is I found a doctor that A, I really like, and B, that's very close to where we live now, instead of me going to the other town, that, um, to the other doctor that I had been going to for like 20 years. Because I do have other problems, like I have an ulcer, and I, I've had uh, other uh, emergency situations where um, I've had to have emergency stomach surgery, not esophageal surgery, but... Uh, um, uh, perforated bowel. So that's why I had that other gastroenterologist, the one that had been doing it all those years. Well, you know what, Danielle, it, if I stay at the point I am now, like, okay, like I had a bowl of soup. Soup is nothing but basically rice and broth. Do you know, it takes like a half an hour to eat a bowl of soup, but you know, at least I can get something down, you know? Um, and that's all I can do is uh, not be afraid of COVID and just go in and have my procedure done on a regular basis. So you set every eight weeks and if you can't swallow, you get it done early. Wow. Nana, I, I just, I'm just, my heart bleeds for you, hon. I already knew that I liked you, but I didn't know we had this in common, but, but every eight weeks. Nana, did you have the same problem that I'm having now, which is massive weight loss? Thank you, Danielle. I'm just curious as to whether Nana has a, a trouble um, keeping weight on. Not that I want to keep weight on. Oh, 14. No, no, I have. No, this is only. I can see. So. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, that's terrible. 14, that's a long lifetime of this problem. No, as bad as I thought mine was, you know what You know what they say? Well, the Bible says that whatever's happening with something, what is that scripture about? 
if it's happening to you, it's happening to the world of brothers. So in other words, whoever, like no matter how bad a situation is, there's always somebody else that has it bad. So Nana did lose half of her body weight. Well, I've lost about 130, 140 pounds in a year and a half. And at this rate, um, even like I said, when I had the procedure done, the dilation done, my stomach can, contents can only take so much. So um, um, I never gain any of that weight back. It's hereditary, Nana. I hope none of my kids gets it. Oh my gosh, I have six children. I wouldn't wish this on them for anything. The only thing about the weight loss, guys, is that I have been trying to lose weight for 30 years, okay? I now weigh less than I weighed when my daughter was, uh, when I was pregnant, when I was nine months pregnant with my daughter that's 27 years old. I weigh what I weighed 27 years ago. So the only good thing that comes of this is that on my own, I wasn't able to lose weight because I'm completely sedentary. Uh, I'm homebound. I'm either in bed or in my chair at my desk or table, and I cannot exercise. I can't exercise because I have osteoarthritis. I've had six back surgeries. I've had knee replacement surgeries. I have rods in my back, rods in my hip. Um, I have fibromyalgia. So I have zero energy and um, zero energy and tons and tons of pain. I mean, my pain level is usually eight to nine out of 10 on any given day. So my ability to exercise is, is not there. So I could not lose weight. Nana, your dad's sister passed away from esophageal cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry, hon. They do a biopsy every single time I have this done, Nana. They do a biopsy. Don't ask me why they keep doing it, but they do. Yeah, the other nonsense, yes, yes. Between the stress... Okay, guys, I'm going to say this. There's only 12 of us in the room. I'm being called a bully. I'm being bullied by being called a bully. And this problem has been going on since October. And that's why two of the videos I've done this year have addressed the toxicity that I'm dealing with. So that depression coming from, you know, the, the mood disorder that I have and the chemical imbalance in my brain that's enough to cause depression. And then with the stress of social media, that's depressing. And then being hungry and being in pain because I'm hungry, that's depressing too. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Oh, I'm always glad to have you at my streams, Robert. And I'm always glad to see you at other streams. It makes my heart sing to see you. And Nana, you really was here. You know, to have people from the diamond painting community spend time with me at this channel, it's, it's, I could cry because it makes me that happy. So thank you. You were bed bound for a while, but um, you're going every eight weeks. Okay, so they do one on you as well, Nana. Okay especially with your genetic history, uh, Nana. Yes, I was, Nana, I'm going to tell you about me being bed bound. I was bed bound for almost 20 years. And the only reason that I am not bound to my bed and that I can diamond paint and work on jigsaw puzzles is honestly because of the weight loss. That's the only thing that's been giving me energy, believe it or not. You're still here, Urelli. Urelli, you make me so happy. You comment on every single video I do. Thank you so much, Urelli. I am so glad to have met you. It is, Nana. And I was telling, um, who was I talking? Oh, I was talking to my friend, Fashana, on the phone this morning. And she asked, how, she always asks how I'm doing. And if she hears me eating, she, she starts clapping like you're eating, you're eating. And she asked me today how I was doing. And I said, the paint is awful because the pain is like right around my bre uh, breastbone area and I said that's where the hunger pains hit the most and so so you have to realize between the 
esophagus and the breastbone, nothing can get past there. So the, my stomach is empty. So I hurt. I hurt. A uh, large group of people who love me. I'm, tr I'm trying to ignore the haters, Danielle. I'm breaking down. I'm getting bitter. It's making me mean. You know that. You're helping me. Those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. All right. You know, Nana, I have some of those. I, I start having them. Okay. I have them good and cold. Okay. Okay. I'm not even going to say, I'll never call a name on my channel. I'll never put, I'll never put anybody out there. I, I just won't do it. Um, I've had problems with uh, one of the communities a couple of years ago. I was never called a bully. I was being bullied. I was being harassed. As a matter of fact, when I made that video about toxicity a couple of days ago, somebody messaged me, somebody that I don't even know, but I know her from the coloring community. And she asked me if that lady that was bullying me is still bullying me. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not her. It's not her. So yeah, so I've had problems for a while, but What's going on now is is there's someone that is saying that I'm a bully and has other people believing that I'm a bully. And, and so I keep hearing my name in connection with the word bully. And it's very disheartening. It's very discouraging. And it doesn't work well with my emotional state. I'm very, 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 very fragile emotionally. And I'm not saying that for pity's sake. It's just who I am. You drink three a day? Okay, Nana, you know what? I'm going to start doing that. I have to put in an Instacart order, so I'll order some from BJ's. I'll order a case. I think I'll I'll, I'll get four or five boxes. I'm going to do that. Yeah, you know what? Um, I, I try to stay hydrated with water, but I'm not doing anything with nutrition. And, and Nana, by the way, my, um, and I told the surgeon this, um, my therapist wants me to have some nutritional testing done because of the fact that I haven't been eating for about six months and my weight is coming off at about five pounds a week. He's really worried about me passing out because when I get up and I walk, I see stars, I'm black, I'm, I'm bouncing off the walls, um, from being weak. So, um, are the pre-mixed ones, Nana? Good. Okay. I'm glad you told me that because I haven't shopped. So, um, okay. Okay, good. Thanks for letting me know. Um, uh, and, and Danielle says she drinks booze, so I need to drink one or the other. And But anyway, yeah, my therapist says that when I see my surgeon, he wants me to have some nutritional testing because he's wondering if, if I've let my body become vitamin deficient because I'm not bringing any nutrients in. So I, um, I, I, I told the, the, the doctor that when he called me on Tuesday. So he said he's going to run a full, full panel on me when I go into the hospital. So I'll look for the pre-mixed ones and, and I'll compare them to the boost glucose control shakes. Um, um, Danielle, I'll compare both. Oh, guys, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I wear this ring. And then I will tell you about the ring. This ring is worn because if I do a YouTube video without, because um, my wedding ring got too small when I gained weight and somehow over the years and over the moves, it got lost. So I don't usually wear a ring, right? So <laughs> when I do a YouTube video and I, and I have my hands like this, if I will get comments in the comment section of my videos and there'll be time stamp for when my hand was like this and a, and so a dude will comment like three minutes and 53 seconds i love you you know weird comments like that so i went into my jewelry case and i got this ring and put it on to stop those stupid comments from people seeing me without a wedding ring on Okay, so that's why I wear a ring. This ring is the only ring I have at this point. This was my mother's ring. It's a mother's ring that my, me and my siblings got from my mom. And it has all of our birthstones. She had six children. I have six children. And um, it has, I, I can't call off all of the uh, birthstones. But for example, I, 
am Jade because I was born in December and my sister Ari, who I named my daughter Ari as well. But my sister Ari was born in December. So the only rings that I know are the Jade. The only gems I know are the Jades. And then there's, you know, my brother, myself, my sister Jane, my sister Gail, my sister Julie, and my sister Ari. And so this is my mom's ring. It's 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 a bit big. I can't wear it in the shower or when I wash dishes because I'll lose it. And um, but it's it's on it's on my hand to stop those stupid comments that I have to delete off my channel from trolls that are looking for love or whatever. Um, I told my husband last week that um, <laughs> okay 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 Nana, yeah, it's not going to help win my ring. Okay. Um, I told my husband that this year we celebrate our 39th anniversary and next year it will be 40 years. So I told him before the Kingdom Hall, which is it's church to some people, but we call it the Kingdom Hall. We were sitting, um, getting ready for a Zoom meeting last Sunday. And I said, Tony, I said, you have one year before our 40th anniversary to buy me a ring. I want a ring. Oh, thank you, Dan. Uh, thank you, Nana. I must have missed it, but yeah, they come in. They come in. They come in. Keep on reporting, Nana. I missed it. Maybe when you reported it, a comment, it got pulled before I saw it. But that's why I put the ring on to stop some of those trolls. So you got some vitamin D pills. You know what? Actually, before COVID and I stopped going to physical appointments, I've been only doing telehealth, I was getting vitamin D shots. So I haven't had any vitamin D shots because... I've been doing everything by telehealth up until now. Actually, come to think of it, none of my moderators are here. I just noticed that. But that's okay because I'm looking dead at my um I'm looking dead at my um uh, iPad. Like I have my iPad on the boom arm just like I have my um camera on the boom arm. So and I'm a super fast reader. So if anything comes in, I'll see it right away. Um, yes, I hate those comments too. I was getting them on Instagram and Facebook as well. I get troll accounts trying to friend me. I just definitely, um, delete those. Um, um, I'm actually, if Nana and Danielle, would you mind being moderators? Since no one else is here, let me know and I'll, I'll click it. All right, so let me do Danielle, and, and I'll see if Nana wants to. Okay, so there you go, Danielle. And then Nana, it just, thank you for noticing that I didn't have any mods. I do have mods, but um, there we go. There you go, Nana and Danielle, you're all set. But yeah, so like, um, I, I another place I get uh, that I have to, constantly constantly clean up is my blog i don't want pre-approved pre-approved comments on my blog because i i have something like five thousand good comments on my blog so five thousand trying to approve all those good comments would be overwhelming so about every other day i go into my blog uh the uh, blog site and i have to delete does. Yeah, you really too. I have to, thank you. Um, I have to delete, I would say maybe six or seven troll messages on my blog every other day. Um, and the thing is, um, I have a very active blog now. It did fall, it did fall back to about 3,000 views a week, but it used to be a month, or was, was it a week? It used to be something like 10,000 a week or a month. It was it was a massive amount of views, so I was getting a lot of comments. So I haven't had moderated comments on my blog, so I have to constantly clean up my blog for trolls. Yes, it is very special. That's my mom's ring, which is why I had it put up. Hey, you can try it, Ureli. And I told my husband, I love this man to pieces. We've been married long enough that he can replace my ring. Maybe he won't make me wait to my 40th anniversary, but I've told him about my troll problems with those stupid timestamp comments. 
Yes, um, loves the color. Yes, um, yeah, vitamin D shots. Yeah, I have to, uh, you know, like I said, everything, COVID changed everything. Almost all my appointments are by telehealth. Other than that, I'd still be getting vitamin D shots. Oh, I love you, Riley. And I also, um, I go to a lot of your diamond painting uh, community streams. So, yeah, yeah, I trust you, Riley, to pieces. No worries there. You haven't spoken out of turn, Nana. Not at all. So I got three more diamond paintings coming from Diamond Art Club. They'll be here, I guess, Monday or Tuesday. So I'm going to do an unboxing of those. Um, I'm not going to do an un uh, a haul video, but I'll show you. These came in today. These are the Ohuhu pastel markers. I have huge marker sets, but I don't have Ohuhu because I gave those. Did I get the Ohuhu? No. I think I have. I have. I have like a soap. I have. Well, forget it. I have. I have Cali Arts and I have Lemouche. But these are pastels, so I got these. And. These are, I guess, brush tips. So let's take a look at them. So that's a, I know I just got it on my finger, but that's a soft tip. So these are pastel colors. So this is a new find until I get my next. Okay, welcome back, Kay. I'm about to finish up, actually. Um, oh, you're very welcome, you're really Very, very welcome. So um, these were on Amazon. Um, I don't want the big set of Ohuhu's because I've got two massive sets plus I've got countless other sets of markers over there but these are pastel colors so I wanted to get these oh yay Nana I'm going to be coloring again soon too um I don't even know how I'm going to do with these brush tips Danielle I guess I'll find out this um probably not this weekend because this is basically um doing a reading um a reading challenge this weekend so I won't be coloring this weekend, but I will be coloring starting next week. But I do want to give these a try, and I want to give the pencils I just did a try. So these these things are going to be done. And something that, let me, whoops, this is not something. I'm just getting a book off my shelf. I want to show you something really quick. If I can find it. Hopefully I can find it without giving up. Give me a second, guys. Where is it, Robin? Yes. Wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing, but I can't find it, so I can't show you. Oh, I found it. I have to get up. Let me just show you something. I found it, but it's too far out of reach, so. Okay. I haven't colored for a couple of years. Remember I mentioned that I had been dealing with uh, some abuse from a couple of years ago in the coloring community. So I stopped coloring because the drama was horrendous. It was, that was what you call bullying. Whatever they're saying I'm doing now, it's not happening. But anyway, this art artist named Colin Thompson, and I have six of his jigsaw puzzles. And he, this book of his came out in the Coloring Heaven magazine, which I don't subscribe to. But when I saw this, I had to get it because I never had this book. And this has a lot of his artwork. And what's more is some of these pages are puzzles that I've, jigsaw puzzles that I've done. Like I've done this as a jigsaw puzzle. So I found out that this was on eBay. So I grabbed this. So someone in the coloring community is doing a color along in February in this book. So that's why I want to start coloring again so I can color this guy. Nana, I hope your stitches come out soon. Oh, no. When you see your name in red, K, that just means that somebody put the at symbol in front of your name so that they make sure you see them saying hello. Yes, I am so, so, so blessed. To have these books you guys have no idea because remember i haven't called it in a couple of years but i never stopped looking for my favorite artists 
So as soon as my favorite artists come out with something, I get it. And because I know eventually one day I'm going to color again. So when this came up, I was able to get this. And then I was able to find this one on Etsy. And like I said, some of these pages I have as jigsaw puzzles and I've done them. So that's exciting. So it's, so I don't remember what page. Her name is Shell Artie. I have to go to her Instagram to find out what page we're doing. But I am going to start coloring again, guys. You know what? Coloring, reading, diamond painting, anything loves to color in diamond paint. I've stopped. I'm just getting my groove back. Just getting it back. Um, I am very, very led by my moods and by triggers. And if someone hurts me, the pain is deep and it takes a long time to hear, to heal from it. Well, I can't show you because I'd make you dizzy, but I think I have about 250 coloring books. And um, in case you haven't seen the video I made last night, I'll show you my two latest coloring books because these were gifts. I got these as gifts from my friend and she contacted, here we go. She contacted someone in France to have these sent to me. And pray for this woman. Her name is Katrina. She's currently in the ICU right now. I called her last night to thank her for these books. And she called me back from the ICU. So pray for her. So she sent me these. I already had one, two, and three. And now I have the whole set. Yes, I am too. I am too. Even though she's in the ICU, we talked last night and she called me this morning. She's a very sweet lady. Just pray for her. Um, let's see. Yes, they are beautiful. I did flip throughs on my channel last night, but the artwork is fabulous. Thank you, Kay. So she contacted somebody in France and I got this envelope last night and... All I saw in the package was these books. And then when I was opening the book, this envelope fell out. And it says a gift from Katrina. So I was really, really, really blessed to get these books. You know what, Nana? Shalene is putting out some tutorial videos. You know who Shalene is, the coloring book nook. So just check her out. Um, I'll be coloring on this channel when I get past my nerves because I do color fairly well, if I can say so myself, but I haven't colored pretty much for a couple of years. So I did do some coloring in I think November or December, maybe with Kim T and someone else. We did two or three pages together, but other than that, I haven't colored. Oh, no worries, Kay. No worries. I just checked on my watch. I just had an email. Let's see if I can show you. Yes, I, I love, love my new watch. I got email. Oh, thank you, Danielle. Yes, it is. Oh, hi, Amanda. Did you? Wait, I'm confused. Did you just change your name? Yes, you did. Amanda, you're confusing me. Now I know your name at least. Good, because I wasn't sure what your name was. Okay, Amanda. Hi, nice to meet you if I haven't met you before. I'm so glad you're here. I know I think I might have seen you at Grace's or something the other day, but whatever the case is, I'm glad you're here. So I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else to tell you. I said I, I told you I'm getting more diamond paintings. I did finish two diamond paintings this week. I did some post review videos of that. I'm working on a small video with my friend, um, Dan, um, um, Samantha. And today, Melissa, I love your name. I have an aunt named Melissa. She's only a year older than I am. Yes, I figured fit, finished Mad Kitty and Satara. Yeah, Mad Cat's going to Danielle. Look at Danielle. Let's see if I can get this without falling over. These are the, this is the Mad Kitty is going in one of these, and it's going to be mailed to you. It's a gift to Danielle. Um, um, let's see. Oh, I'm going to be working on Mountain Castle by Diamond Art Club. I already did a strip and it's something I haven't touched for over a month, but I have never had perfect placement on any diamond painting until now. And, um, 
Mountain Castle has perfect placement, so I cannot wait to get back to that. So I think that's good enough for now, guys. I want to thank everybody for coming. I'm so glad that you guys got to watch me swatch those pencils. Um, oh, I never thought about signing it, Danielle. Okay, I'll sign the back of it if that's all right. I never thought about that. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to let everybody go. I want to thank you for your time, for you bearing with me while I swatched those pencils and chit-chatted about this and that and the other. And all I can say is that those of you who don't know me well, please, when you hear my name come up with the word bully, it's not true. There's one person that doesn't like me, and she is making a Pied Piper attempt to smear my name. That's all I'm going to say. Love to everybody. Uh, let's see if I can call everybody. Let's see. Thank you, Nana. Now I know your name is Melissa, Amanda, Urelli, Danielle, Kay. I love you. I think Kay stepped away, though. Robert. Thank you, Robert. And Samantha was here, and I think she left. And I, and I know we've got some lurkers here. It could be the person that I just called out. Who knows? But... Um, Thank you, everybody, for coming, and I will be back with more. The, like I said, the very next thing that you'll see probably on this channel will be a couple of book reviews, and you're going to see an unboxing of some diamond paintings. So I'm going to click and stream and say thank you, and bye-bye.